Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. As you know NRCC slab at the end of the supports we provide crank bar or cut piece extra bar to resist shear stresses at the end of the supports. That's why because shear stresses are maximum at the end of the support so therefore we provide crank bar or extra bar cut piece. So now here is a question which method is better to provide crank bar or cut piece rebar. So this is the topic for today. So if you are working on construction site as a site engineer or if you are working for experience, if you are a student or if you are non technical person. So watch this video till the end to learn which method is better to provide crank rebar or cut piece one method. So let's start guys. If this video is helpful for you, so must like this video. The topic is which method is better for NRCC slab using crank bar or cut piece one. Now guys here you can see we have two diagrams. One is crank bar. The second one is cut piece. This is RCC slab. This one is also RCC slab. Guys you can see from the top of uh, the diagram you can see this is crank bar. We provide crank bar near its support. Support our columns or beam to resist shear stresses because concrete has low resistance in tensile stress to the tensile stress. So therefore we provide crank bar to resist shear stresses. Our cut piece as you can see uh, we provide cut piece main bars and distribution bars when we place in the RCC slab then we provide the extra cut piece or extra bars to the length of 2 meter or 1.5 meter etc. Okay that's depend on the structure design. Now which one is best? This is crank bar method and this is cut piece or extra bar method. As you can see guys, basically in both cases, crank bar or cut piece one method or extra bar method. Crank bar and cut piece steel reinforced takes what the tensile stress and moments resistance against bending. So therefore we provide cut piece or crank bar now which one is best which one is better okay the first one guys cut piece will require steel for lap at the transition how when we provide as you can see here in this diagram you can see guys we will provide the distribution bars same like this and also main bars Main bars and distribution bars should be placed in RCC slab. After that, with main bars and distribution bars, we will overlap the other cut piece. So it's what? Not economical. Okay. So therefore, also remember one thing. Cut piece will require steel for lap at the transition. We will overlap one steel to another one to provide the cut piece one method. Now the second one. Crank bar reduce the number of reinforced rebars compared to the cut piece. But the work is same. Both in both cases you can resist the shear stresses at the end of the support by crank bar or by cut piece. But cut piece are extra bars as you can see guys. Here main bars and distribution bars we placed but we provide extra bars. So it can uh, okay so for the low budget we cannot support this okay but the work is same but here compare to crank bar reduce the number of reinforcement that's why because in crank bar when we provide one steel bar okay on both way we will crank or we will bend the bar near at support but there we don't need any extra bar just if that is main bar or distribution bar but that should be bend okay but here in cut piece method the main bars and distribution bars should not be bent but with main bar and distribution bar we will overlap the other cut piece so therefore it become expensive but the work is same so the crank bar is best compared to the extra bars okay our cut piece now crank bar is economical crank bar is economical that's why because here we don't need any other extra bar 
So therefore, the extra bar has their own weight. So there we need more amount of steel bars because crank bar can reduce the number of main bars and distribution bars also. Okay, so in crank bar method, first remember, we need to provide crank bar or cut piece. But most of the people and most of the projects I saw, they are using cut piece method. But cut piece method is not better. Okay, compared to the crank bar. So therefore, I recommend you crank bar is economical and crank bar reduce the amount of steel bar and there you require less amount of steel bar compared to the cut piece. And the cut piece method also you need the labor work. There you will overlap one steel bar to another. If the overlapping binding is loose, so it can also provide more problems on construction site. You will face the problems. So therefore guys, I recommend you and also from more experience I am telling you that the crank rebar method is best to resist shear stresses compared to the cut piece method. So guys, this is a short video to clear you which method is better. So if you have any question about this video, so you can comment. I will try to reply your answer. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.